Hello my friends of Qatari Labs, my name is Ur Montoya. Please welcome to this uh, tutorial. This tutorial is for seawater intrusion modeling over a Tupac Cloud program uh, model. Uh, so what is it? In this tutorial we have simulated a coastal aquifer that has wells and rivers on steady state and transient state. Okay, and uh, we have used this project in order to implement the a variable density package the, in Modflow 6 that is called BI, buoyancy package. And in order to do that, you have to insert to Tupac Cloud or you have to insert, I mean, whether you can do, you can do the tutorial, okay? Or, and then you download the project. Mm -hmm. When you have downloaded the project, you open the project okay so you will find mnt to pack projects and the project okay and then here on p3 model you have model then what you are going to see you are going to copy that okay and then you are going to paste it in in this folder that you are going to to find in the description of the model okay however okay so let's see i'm going to delete this too Okay, I'm going to delete this too. Okay, and then you paste it here, and then you just put a capital M here because it's, it's important that it will be BM because the model runs with M. Okay, so just to remember that this folder has to be on documents again because when you open Anaconda, you go CD documents. Ah, C cd documents cd seawater intrusion okay here you type jupyter lab and once you type jupyter lab maybe you are going to see like this don't worry okay so you find a notebook here and then we are going to clear all outputs okay so first you import the required package then you open the simulation and then you change the name of the simulation why because we don't want to okay because we are going to make some changes on the simulation but we want to keep the original file okay this is important we want to keep the original file okay and then we got the model okay we got the model uh, well we set the relative path okay with this ones we open the model with this one we set the limit model and then we got the package list okay first we are going to explore a little bit about the geometry for example the bottom the top and then we can make some plots to see the grid and then we can do a cross section okay because these are the same plots that we are going to use for our representation okay we can review the boundary conditions where the general head is located where the river is located where the this is the, ri the river and a cross section of the river as well okay and then we are going to enable the value package in order to do that we have to insert a concentration okay so we insert a concentration and then we in the concentration for all the cells where for all the sets that are in the general head okay for all the sets that are in the head on layer in the first layer okay we are going to add the zero that is the the head elevation of the general head this is the conductance and this is the auxiliary that is zero okay okay and then we remove the package because we have to remove that okay because 
Why we have removed that? Because well, uh, we have removed that, this one, because uh, we are not going to work with the original GHB. We are going to create a new GHB. So this is the new GHB. Mm -hmm. And then we define the by package where we have the concentration of the so the this is the concentration 35 uh, grams per liter. This is the fresh zero grams per liter. This is the density, and this is the density of the fresh. And then you have the density slope, and then you insert the uh, for uh, the period that. For the package data, you insert because in mod flow by you can insert many many elements that, for example, not only chlorine sodide but chlorine pot potassium chloride also can be inserted. I mean, or lithium uh, chloride can be inserted. Lithium chloride if that exists. Okay. Well, whatever whatever concentration that can change the the density can be inserted here. But in the case is only this is only for the for the uh, the species one is only for sodium chloride, okay, great, and then we create a, a groundwater transport model, and then what we create is also. The, we register the solver for the transform model. We define the spatial discretization of the transform model because this is everything related to the transform model. Then we have the starting concentration of the transform model that is zero. Okay, but however, in the for the GHB. We are going to see that the initial concentration is actually 35. Okay. Uh, 25 grams per liter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we can plot the figure of the starting concentrations where we have 0 and 35. And then we have advection, dispersion, we have the porosity, the storage. And then we have the sink and source. In the K, it will be the GHB, the source array will be the auxiliary of the GHB. Of the concentration, this will be the, the source. Mm -hmm. And then we have a constant concentration package that will be this as a constant concentration of 35 as well. Then we can plot our constant concentration. Well, and then we can define the output control. Then we define the exchange flow and transport exchange. And then we write the simulation. There is a problem when we write the simulation. What is the problem? That actually, when you take out the GHB, okay, in the in the model by you on the NAN file. No, not not on the NAN file. In the Tupac model dot NAM, uh, you don't take. Okay, so this is the original GHB. And this is the other GHB, but as you see, you have two GHB on the same model. And this creates some problems. So you have to, because this one was not removed adequately, so we have to remove it manually, Control A, Control S. Okay, and now with that, we can run the model. Okay, so it's running the steady state, and this is the steady state, and this is the transient one. 
I remember that it was 20 years and this was also 20 years. Okay, it has a problem of conversion, but don't, we don't have to worry about it. So we have the end of the first stress period and the end of the second stress period, the available times, and this is the key distribution. We see that the river keeps the flow in this part, okay? And then we have the concentration results. Okay, and then like these are the pumping wells, and then we see that there is a inflow from the seawater where there is higher water stress, and this in this part. Okay, so if we if we plot the head, no, the water table, the water table on the or the. Okay, so this is the. Okay, this is the most stressed part. And this is what you also see where the most, uh, where, this, where the saline plume has, is where it has intruded more. Okay, very interesting. And then you see, for example, in this part, like is the river that the ones that is connecting with the, that connects, is the river is the one that connects with the, see water with the pumping with this pumping well so actually that is why you only see he, the saline water intrusion the salt water intrusion just in this part but because all water the water that means that water here comes from the river okay so we can plot this is a zoom of the sea water intrusion we can plot the heads in a line so this is Okay, there is a problem here. The problem here is that these two, the, these two layers are confined, and this is actually, this means that the, the aquifer actually went dry. So I have to go back and maybe decrease a little bit, uh, decrease a little bit the pumping rates in order that the water table will be on the vertical extension of the model. Then we uh, plot. The, this is the seal, the intrusion, and this is the this is a zoom of the seawater intrusion. Okay, so that's it. This is, uh, in my opinion, what is what is next is to do uh, like what is next is like the that the seawater intrusion has to be on a low scale because uh, for the in, or, in order to have a better grid distribution okay so maybe just to cut to cut the model somewhere here because this this part is actually not relevant for the saline water intrusion okay uh, what else um, to see like the because here we see kind of a front a front uh, or maybe because this is a front because like the flow is entirely in this direction but we should see that depending on the flow we should see the more a saline distribution more on the lower part of the on the lower part of like intrusion like in this like in this shape okay so all the okay so whether you can do this tutorial download it and do it or you well you are also going to find all of these in the description of the video uh let me let me check how much does it weights because otherwise ah okay okay yeah, you are going to see that in the description of the video. And uh, uh, we are from Hatari Labs. What is Hatari Labs? Hatari Labs is a platform for knowledge exchange in groundwater modeling. And we have some, we have a blog, some webinars, and so on. But we also have courses that you can take. And with the courses that you can take online in our e-learning platform and that will also give us some support to continue our research because we have been researching a lot 
in developing innovative tools or searching for new package and new software as well. Okay, uh, just remember that all the files will be in the description of the video. I hope to see you in the comment tutorial. Bye bye. Bye.